Well, it's been about a week in the CX-9, and I've got to say it's been a great car. Tonight I wanted to do a POV night drive for you guys. You can see the dash, the headlights, all that good stuff. Something that you don't notice during the day that I think it's a pretty cool feature is you have this illuminated LED strip right here on the front grille. Makes for a pretty interesting shape to see in your rear view mirror at night. Pretty cool design cue from Mazda. And you can see here, rear tail lights look really nice as well. I love what Mazda's doing with their lighting. Looks really sharp. Nicely illuminated interior. You've got some door sill lights here where the handles are, and then a little illuminated strip in the center console. Backup camera has very good night visibility. And as you'll see here shortly, the headlights are fantastic. Adaptive, they'll turn with the steering wheel. This has been a great SUV to drive around all week. It's very responsive, it's nimble, it handles well, it's comfortable, it rides great. I love the ergonomics. The engine and transmission are perfectly synchronized, really, uh, really harmonious drivetrain, I love it. And the turbocharged four-cylinder has plenty of power, um, great torque, really responsive, almost feels naturally aspirated. A little traction control kicking in there, but quite impressive handling performance from the CX-9. Um, for such a big car, it really does do some work around the bends. And there's an Audi R8. Don't see those a whole lot in Michigan. Radar guided cruise control has been a very, very useful feature this week. I use it all the time. The interface here on the steering wheel is very intuitive, really easy to use at a moment's notice, and it works really well. Again, ergonomics are fantastic. Um, I've even gotten used to the infotainment. It feels good. Uh, this has just been a really good, really good car to live with. Come on, Audi, all right. 35 miles an hour on entrance ramp. You can do better. Love the brake pedal feel on this. And great steering feel too. I can I know exactly how much grip I have. The front tires are very communicative. Like I said in my last review, there's sometimes just a touch of torque steer too, which is kind of cool. But mostly you're just feeling that all-wheel drive system pull you out of a corner. Really pretty impressed with the handling on the CX-9. I feel like lately all I've been doing is raving about the transmissions in these cars, but I really do appreciate 
that this transmission doesn't downshift a bunch when you uh, give it some throttle. It can really let you use the torque and the turbo and give you a good amount of response without wasting time downshifting unnecessarily when it's just going to upshift in a couple seconds. It's really good programming, really nice tuning for Mazda on their part. I will say the everything in this CX-9 is just a little bit more refined than the rest of Mazda's lineup. Controls, everything is weighted a little bit heavier, which makes sense. It's a heavier car. There's a premium solid feel to this that uh, is just really, really quite nice. And it's not too big. It's a good size. The Bose sound system, in my opinion, sounds good. I'm no audiophile, but I have enjoyed listening to music in this car this week. Seats are comfortable. I've been getting a few little rattles from the back seats. I'm not sure if that's mostly when they're up or down. Um, it's kind of intermittent, and we have been seeing a lot of temperature changes throughout the week, so maybe it's the cold temperatures and the car hasn't quite warmed up yet, but um, really it hasn't been that big of an issue, just, just a few instances here and there. Turning radius isn't bad. You definitely wouldn't have any trouble navigating a parking lot in this, but just in those few instances, let's say you need to make a U-turn on a tight street, you will have to do some three-point turns. Love the heated steering wheel. It's not heated all the way throughout. There are some some uh, cold spots, but where you keep your hands at nine and three, it's pretty well heated, and it's a nice level of heating. It's not going to burn your hands off. Otherwise, guys, not a whole lot to add in this night review. Um, it's just been a really nice place to be. And honestly, the color and the looks have grown on me over the week. Uh, I know in my last review I said I wasn't particularly crazy about the white. But that said, this paint is a, does have a really nice shine to it. And it's got this metallic flake, pearl flake, that just looks good. It uh, reflects really well in the sunlight, looks good in the shade, looks good at nighttime. All right, well, I think that'll wrap it up for the CX-9. Let me know if you guys have any questions in the comments. And thanks again for watching. We'll see you guys in the next video. Take care.